Hello Leo, how are you guys doing? I hope you're good out there. We are looking into their current feelings and see how they are currently feeling about you. But I'm going to go a little bit deeper as well and even check um, what they're even thinking about you right now. And as usual on my channel, we are going to get your spirit guides to come and give us an outcome here at the end of the reading as well. Let's clear the space of any previous readings that I have done on this table and energies that have been around here so that your energy can please come in for this reading. And I call in your spirit guides now, please, to come inside here and show us what we need to see with regards to whomever this may be for you, sending out those good positive vibes to you while we are doing the reading. So let's get started guys let's see what their energy is so i'm going to get two cards out here that's basically going to show what's vibing with them right now by the way guys if you do want to have a personal reading with me please check in the link in the description box below they're still on markdown and discounted until the end of june so you can check that out there's an email you can just con contact me at any time okay there you go so you've got a ace of swords energy and another swords energy the four of wands energy in this in this deck um the psychic tarot of the heart Heart. It's literally called clarity of belief and just breathe. Again, this is reminiscent of the cancer reading that I just did. Um, I do feel honestly that this person, it's somebody um, either from your past or this could be a new person. Okay. I kind of pick up it can be a bit of the both. It's not somebody that you're with. Um, there is for the new person scenario. Okay. Also for the, for the, for the ex person, this is a specific reading, especially when it comes to the ex. Okay. The ex is still around you. Okay. This person is not cut off completely. You have got communication with them. You may see them occasionally. If this is a new person coming in here, you see this person. Um, you may not be too aware, especially with a new person, even with the ex as well, um, their kind of feelings towards you. You may actually think, oh, the feelings are not there anymore. Or you may be communicating with this person more than like on an everyday basis. It can be at work. It can be just around you, somebody that's around you. But they really are thinking a lot about you. And I've actually got this vibe that you may not be aware of this. Okay, either the ex or the new person is the same. Um, with the just breathe energy, that is them. They're holding back a little bit um, from sort of letting you know about what they're thinking about and what they're thinking about is that ace of swords energy it's like they're making some plans or they're trying to figure out something here with regards to the clarity of belief kind of energy they have got a plan to do something this person is without a doubt if it's an ex-person they still got feelings for you there is no other way. I can see the way the card looks here with somebody's hand on their heart like that. They still got feelings. If it's a new person, it's almost like they they got this like infatuation towards you. So you are definitely affecting their heart chakra. That's for sure. And they do intend to do something here somewhere but not in this very moment so i'm just saying we literally i think we're moving out of mercury retrograde this week thank you i'm just saying all the stuff from the past that we thought was dead and buried came back you know what i mean and not just with regards to relationship a lot of different things pops up during mercury retrograde almost just to remind us how far we've come and the charcoal block just popped and spirit guides like don't you know it it's so true so let's have a look and see what is this person's feelings towards you currently right now Kind of got those vibes. Look at that. They, it's, uh, they're holding back here, um, but they don't want you. You've got two eights coming in. And we are now going into July, and August is going to be the eighth month. I do kind of vibe that this person is going to contact you before August. I dropped two cards on the ground. Let's see what it is. Nine of voices, ace of inspiration. Yeah, they're going to contact you not right now. They're not doing anything right now. Um, I feel like there's a period of waiting here, especially because the Four of Swords is above these two cards. They do think about this a lot. Okay, we're going to move to this one here. Current energy right now. They want to start something with you with the Ace of Wands being here, which is the Ace of Inspiration in the Muse Tarot. And with the Nine of Voices, it's really in their head. They're thinking about this quite a lot, which is the Nine of Swords energy. They are thinking about this quite a lot. They... 
um, it's something that they think about a lot. How am I going to do this? When is the timing going to be right? They're still holding back. Like I said, I see those two eights over there. And it kind of reminds me, even through the month of July, they may not do anything. But towards the end of July, they're going to make a shift here. There's something they're going to make a move. Because when you see the ace of wands in the reverse position, it's a new start that they want. Or a a restart of something but they're being cautious here especially with the worries that they carry about approaching you they may feel like the timing is out or they need to get to know you more or you need to get to know them more and if it's the ex they're just waiting for the timing to be right they could be gathering courage in some kind of way as well um, because there's a chance that if it's an ex even if it's a new person to be honest that we say no to somebody and I feel like that's what they're more afraid of than anything else but it definitely got the ace of voices ace of swords in the reverse position the eight of caps which is the eight of emotions in this deck this person's going to change something they're going to take this risk and they are going to approach you they're going to want to hope for this eight of swords because right now I feel like the eight of swords is kind of like what they're hoping for but current energy I feel like it's in the upright position not in the reverse position the upright position is restriction it's not something that's moving so I feel honestly to tell you the truth a lot of this restriction that they're putting on something happening it's self-imposed restriction it's not it's their own thoughts that are making this restriction happen because they're really up in the head nine of voices eight of voices nine of swords and eight of swords they really Th overthinking this entire thing you know what I mean uh, maybe they have reason to overthink this maybe you've given them some kind of sign that you might not be interested or you may be even interested in someone else right now but that's what can be also what holds makes them hold back but they're not going to stay in this energy because yeah they come the eight of cups energy well, this is what they're going to walk away from the eight of cups talks about them shifting the energy from where they are into something else so they are definitely going to be wanting to walk away from a situation where currently right now looks a bit stuck and I feel like a lot of the stuckness can be even them that's overthinking absolutely totally everything who is this person they could be an air sign I'm just saying because the air energy has come through here four times in the reading so they could be Gemini they could be Libra they could be Aquarius um, and these three signs they're a little bit um, much more thought orientated as well and sometimes especially like with the Gemini energy even Aquarius um, Gemini can be very back and forth in decisions that need to get made one moment they're like yep and the next moment they're like nope so you kind of get this back and forth energy Aquarius is just a completely out of the box thinker so they can sometimes do things on their own time and when they want to because they're just eccentric in general so let's have a look and see yeah what they're thinking of you is the death card they want a chance here but you're so careful now I see why you've got the death card rocking up there Scorpio's energy you've got temperance rocking up there is Saji's energy yeah you're very strong Ooh, ten of pentacles this other see you've yeah no wonder they're scared to make a move towards you um your energy sure and spirit guide just going pop those pop the uh the the charcoal block there for confirmation um yes you don't take nonsense okay uh you do not take nonsense you've left nonsense in 2020 or 2019 i don't know but you don't do that anymore you do not make and repeat past mistakes nice i like um the death card tells me that you have definitely had some major breakup in your past year it can be associated to them it can just be you from your own history um you have walked away from that with a ten of wands you ended cycles without a doubt with the death card being there in the ten of wands you ended neg negative stressful cycles in your life and you won't go back there again i say yes do that what you as anything that's negative and not good must not come with us into the next month you know what i mean and you will definitely know without a doubt what looks like the ten of pentacles because you're in it right now this is very nice they view you as being very very strong because you have walked away from past things that were not good and on top of that as well with the temperance energy being in the reverse position that's you being very cautious and very careful about who you just allow into your life you don't just allow anybody to come in here and enter your world and hurt you or break your heart it's like i it's almost like you 
you want to bounce at your door. Maybe it's one of your spirit guides, you know. We do have a gate key, gate to gateway spirit guide, each one of us. And it's kind of like if you ask that gatekeeper to be your temperance energy, they will be. They will not. Uh, my gatekeeper is the one that will, and now the charcoal blocks are just popping. It's the one that will be the voice or the interpreter of your spirit guides so must your spirit guides come in my gateway uh spirit guide will then speak to them and then give me the message because we understand each other's language and they understand your spirit guides language so there's a middle middleman you can even ask your gateway just by literally saying hey gateway spirit guide hello and you know you don't even have to make do anything you just have to like speak to them as if i'm speaking to you or you speaking to me and just be like you know always keep what is not the Ten of Pentacles away from me? And when you allow someone into my world, make sure they're that. And let me tell you something. All you have to do is ask and they are willing to oblige you and they will help you. So let's get some advice from those spirit guides of yours and see what they say. Look, they're going, yeah, we will not allow that. to. Maybe we've asked them already just from you guys watching this reading. It's like collectively spirit guides for everyone that's out there. The gateway. Be the bouncer in all my viewers' lives. Do not allow these um, king of pentacles in the reverse position in their world. Because the king of pentacles in the reverse position will not get to the ten of pentacles. It doesn't mean that we're looking for rich people. <laughs> maybe we are no I'm kidding it doesn't mean we're looking for rich people it means we're looking for people who are serious about life and stability and I looked up at my watch and it literally said 11 11 yes let's see yes the spirit guide is letting you know I will keep these people away from you yes six of swords energy there we go they literally going, I will keep these people away from you. I will keep all these negative, stressful situations away. It is in the past. Very nice energy. Let's see what will come through here for you. Let's get one more card out as a message from your spirit guides. What will come through? I see a card trying to hide from me. I'm going to pull it out. What is this? <gasps> Very nice. Oh, judgment. Yes. Judgment is in the upright position. You will get what you deserve. Yep. So this is a karmic card, okay? When this card comes up like this, it's a good, very good energy. It's in the upright position. And your spirit guide literally said, you'll get what you deserve. And that's what karma is. And um, you've done a lot a lot of good in your life. I think you may, if you're a good person, you've done good to others, guess what? You're going to get good back towards you as well. I know sometimes karma can take a long time to come around, but um, the energy that I'm coming through here is literally, I feel like they are blocking these reverse king of pentacles, male or female energy. And what you will get from this energy of even the decision that you made yourself to walk away from things that don't serve you will have this justice effect. And it's almost like what comes around goes around and and your coming around is going to be extremely positive. This is coming above that Ten of Pentacles. And it's because you walked away from what doesn't serve you. That is absolutely beautiful. I love your reading so much. Thank you so much. All the spirit guides that have come in. And you guys as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending my love. Bye.